now I'm going to show you how our Highlight Scene app for mobile phone or pad works. First of all, go to setting, Wi-Fi, and connect to the router that is connected to the gateway by Ethernet cable. Once it's connected, open the app, Highlight Scene Pro. Log in. Okay, so as you can see here, we do some tests. We already add all the lamps and sensors here. And for example, we can control a single lamp. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. So I can turn it on. I can turn it off. Or I can turn it on. single device. Also, I can control for a group of lights, the linear group, I can change the brightness. See? Or I can turn it off. And turn it on again. Okay, so this is for simple dimming. And besides this, we can set motion sensor and daylight sensors. As you can see, the motion sensor, this is a three-step dimming motion sensor. So we have task level, waiting level, and background level. Just set the right percentage and the hold times. This is important. It's the sensitivity setting for the sensor. Uh, the microwave motion sensor we have right now is 15 meters. So if it's installed 12 meters, then we need to make it 80% or 70% to uh, lower the sensitivity. Now right, once it's done, then we click OK. And um, see what else we have. We can create scenarios. Um, so this is some scenario we already created. Once you click it, it will run. Or we can add scenarios ourselves. So we enter the scenario name and, um, I'm sorry. So we can set fade in and fade out seconds. If you would like fade in and fade out effect, that means if it's from 100% and later it's, you want to go to 50%, the, the brightness will go slowly until you reach 30%. Preset status, we can choose devices and set the status. Once every setting is done, we click save, okay? This is scenario and we can have different schedules, on duty, off duty, and even for schedule, we can choose device, set the time, and fading or fade out effect or not, and the way to repeat. This one is important, execute successively. This is good for plant growing. We can set timer one, timer two, timer three, and then timer one run three times, timer two run one time, timer three, two times, whatever. It's just kind of programming on the timer schedule, okay? All right. And we have some settings here. Account management. From mobile app, one admin account and 20 sub accounts. So we can create the accounts here. And we have, we can add device, add group, or edit device, edit group here. Sensor and switch and remote control are bound here to a group of lamps or a single lamp. So firstly, we need to choose a motion sensor, let's say, okay, a motion sensor, and then choose the linear light. Now, once the motion sensor and the linear light is choose, we click save, and it's done, all right? This is binding setting. And we have gateway setting here. Gateway setting, if gateway is online, how many quantity in total, everything is listed here. And we have system reports. This is also important. Um, with the setting, you will be able to see how much is saved this month and the usage of last month, saved last month. We can do the setting, you can choose the currency, US dollar, and 
you can put the electric charge here. Once this is done, click save. Okay? This is a system report. And we have version information. And you can even log out. So um, this is a brief introduction of our mobile phone app. Thank you.